This is Jolie here for Seconds Out Dakota. It's a pleasure to be joined by you for the first time. Seven and of course, undefeated mixed martial artist with the PFL. Good to speak to you, how are you? I'm really well, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. good. Okay, so I didn't expect to see you here. So why don't you explain, obviously, with the PFL, there's ties to this influencer thing now, but what, what exactly brings you here? Um, so I've been brought here with the PFL. Um, obviously, Jake Paul being at the starting off as a big YouTuber, now coming over to uh, to the mixed martial arts scene, and um, and he's just obviously announced he's signing with PFL. So we're just here to uh, meet all the fighters and just be involved, really. It's mad, like how that works, Jake Paul with the PFL. What was your first reaction to that? I was surprised to be honest. I didn't know anything about it, so it was a big shock. Like everyone was tagging me in the video because I was in like his promo video and stuff, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's massive. He obviously brings a lot of eyes to himself. Like shows like this get a lot of support. So um, if he can bring that kind of support over to PFL, then, you know, it can only be good for us fighters. I want to talk about your career now, um, 7 and 0. How would you sum it up? How would you round it up so far? I feel like last year, 2022, was like a massive year for me. Um, obviously, it was my signing with PFL and it was like a real breakthrough. Um, so yeah, I'm in the 100k tournament this year, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be massive, yeah. What do you kind of look up to? Who do you look up to with mim women's mixed martial arts? You're still obviously quite young, and there's not too many influences out there. Molly McCann, Ronda Rousey, but was there someone you looked up to as to why you started? Um, I mean, I started off in Thai boxing. Um, obviously, my mum used to fight and stuff, so I get a lot of inspiration from her. And then um, moving over to MMA it was kind of something I've always wanted to try. Um, and when I did try it, I absolutely loved it straight away. And kind of like, I saw a bigger career in it than I did Thai boxing, so I kind of went that way and it just took off straight away, to be honest. So um, yeah, I'm here now and I couldn't be in a better position, so. Let's talk about 2022 then, because it was, I guess, above and beyond. It was just, it went so well. Yeah, I mean, 2023 is going to be huge. It's going to be 10, yeah, it's going to be 10 times. 10 times bigger than last year. So um, I'm just excited to keep putting on a show, keep progressing, keep learning. And I feel like this is the place to do it with PFL. So I'm really excited for this journey. Why do you think PFL Europe, how do you think that, um, I guess, gives you more opportunities? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's hard for us fighters to get opportunities in the States because we can't always get over there. And, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of talent missed in Europe. And I feel like um, PFL captivating that, that space is going to be huge for them. They've done a real good job. We'll look forward to seeing you fine. Okay, Jolie here for seconds out. Joined by Don Woodin. Good to see you again, bro. Um, since we last spoke, you're now with the PFL and I know there's the zone links and that brings you here today. But um, how are you and, and how is this new news settling in? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. Um, yeah, this new setting, it's brilliant, man. Like, you find like other shows, like, media run is not as solid as PFL, do you know what I mean? So obviously, like, we're here now today with uh, the zone. Uh, Misfits uh, boxing event, YouTube event. And obviously we've been told to come down to uh, promote PFL Europe as well this season. So it's very good, a lot, a lot of media coverage, which is, which is good. How did you get to sign in with PFL? Say again? How did you get to sign in with PFL? Well, PFL, they wanted to sign me since um, summer of 2022. But obviously I was I was still with uh, Cage Warriors and obviously I was, hold it. Oh, I was still, I was still with uh, Cage Warriors. Um, so obviously I had to still honor my contract. So, but PFL, they were just like, look, listen, when, once you're done with cage draws, the door's always open for you. So obviously after my last fight, um, I parted ways with cage draws uh, respectfully and uh, ended up signing with PFL. So now, now we're here and uh, we're heading towards, we're heading towards becoming another champion and heading towards getting, getting bigger paychecks. Are you prepared for the season? Obviously Simeon Powell is already in the PFL um, and Brendan Lockniner's example champion now. He says it's one of the hardest things, the hardest thing he's ever had to do. The seasons in PFL, they're different, just plain and simple. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think for this European season, there's, there's uh, four events. So I think the European fighters are gonna get gonna get three fights. So, um, so they got uh, March, July, uh, September, and uh, December. That's, that's fine to me because uh, back in 2021, when I became a uh, cadre champion, my season with Kedro started in the, in June of 2021, and then I had my title fight in September. Then I then I defended it in December. The thing is, the thing about me, I'm most dangerous when I'm active. I'm most dangerous when I'm active. So when I when I keep the the en the engine all oiled and clean, 
I can, I, I, can, I can go better. Do you know what I mean? So I, I don't like taking too many gaps. Do you know what I mean? I don't like doing a fight and after waiting like 10 months, even to a year. Do you know what I mean? Like last year was the most inactive year I've had of my whole MMA career. I only had one fight. Obviously, there was a lot of ups and downs of uh, me probably signing with the UFC, going down like a tennis series, but obviously that all fell through. So obviously I had to fight and defend my title again, trying to get the hook, trying to uh, get the opportunity to sign with the UFC. But PFL came came at the right time and and um, I'm very happy to be a PFL. So obviously the, the activity, I'm not too worried about that. I want activity. I want to be fighting every every month and a half, every two months. Do you know what I mean? So if I can get going like that, then then it's just going to be good for me. I want to speak about the Jake Paul signing as well, because for the PFL, it's, it's not something you would have even suggested a year ago, but um, what do you make of it? What was your first reaction? Do you know what? When I, when I first saw it, I was just, I was like, whoa. Like, from a business standpoint, great move from uh, Jake Paul and great move from PFL. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, obviously, it's just going to give a lot of attention to PFL as well as MMA and obviously getting fighters paid because obviously that's what Jake Paul's all about. He's all, he's all about getting MMA fighters paid. Do you know what I mean? So um, when I saw that, I thought, was a, I thought it was a great move. Great move from Jake and great move from PFL. And, and obviously he's coming. He's going to be fighting MMA as well. So you can only give the guy respect. Give, give respect where, where it's due. Do you know what I mean? Like he's he, he done the boxing. He's fought some he's fought some elite fighters. Obviously he's last on Anderson Silva. That's my favorite fighter of all times. He fought him. And the way he convincingly beat him you, you got you got to start giving him his, his respect, and now for him to come over to to, to MMA, it's only big, and he's calling that Nate Diaz. So we'll just we'll, we'll just see. But from a business standpoint, great move from him and great move from BFL. Yeah, we'll save the Anderson Silver impression. I think is that on your Instagram somewhere? Yeah, Anderson. We can save that for another time. But go, people have to check that one out. Um, I want to talk about obviously how you've been since your last fight in Cage Warriors. You've got the PFL signing, but what's it been like coming off the back of a loss, and how have you handled that? Um, do you know what? Look, I've I've I've, I've been here before. I've I've, I've 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 taken learning lessons in my career. It's it's, it's it's nothing new to me. Do you know what I mean? I know how to pick myself back up. Um, now that I'm with a new promotion, there's new goals, and there's a new drive. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, there's a lot of money on the line as well. So I don't have a title to pick up. Do you know what I mean? So um, I've dealt with I've dealt with a, with with a learning lesson. Good, I think. Um, like I said, I know I know how to pick myself back up and, and go back to the drawing board and, and, and come back stronger. And, and 2023, you, 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 you're going to see me come back stronger. Right way to end it, bro. I appreciate that. Love. Wicked. Okay, this is Julie here for Seconds Out. Simeon Powell joins me now. PFL star from the UK. Uh, one of the first, it seems like. We've obviously seen Brendan Luck name very recently as well. Um, but that's kind of brought you here today through the zone with the Misfit stuff. How are you, bro? Happy New Year? Oh, happy New Year, bro. Um, no, I'm feeling great. I'm excited for the, the PFL Europe season to start and that's it, bro. Yeah, PFL Europe, that's big. For you to be a part of that as a fighter, the movement that PFL are bringing at the moment must be, it's big. Yeah, no, it's big. It's massive for the like, European and UK fighters to, to be on the platform like PFL and obviously win 100k at the end of it. That's your plans, that's your goals? Oh, that's it, it's securing the bag this year, trust me. How did you, uh, how do you look back at 2022? Because you did so many special things, you fought in short periods, as everyone knows now, but you still have so much to accomplish. Are you looking back at it with not too much uh, excitement because then you won't be excited for the future as well? Yeah, no, 100%, because literally next, this, this year is what will take me to the next level. Exactly. This year is so important, so I'm, I'm ready, I'm focused, so yeah. Let's talk about the activity that PFL brings. How do you assess that? How do you feel as a fighter when you get so many fights in short periods? I'm young and hungry, so that's this is what, I, this is what I'm about and this is what I like fight for, to be active. And um, yeah, so I feel like it benefits me. Uh, I don't like going the full 15 because I like finishing fights quick so we'll see we'll see what happens next year we're currently as you can see behind us KSI phase temper um, you just took a look like oh where are we um, <laughs> this is a completely new scene what do you make of influencer crossover boxing I think it's interesting like the more eyes on combat sports the better so it's um all the, all, all the fact that it's the the crowd that these uh, these up big is, is quite is quite mad to see. So um, yeah, no, it's in, it's interesting. It's only only benefits us us fighters. What do you think you can take from it as a fighter? I feel like 
um, that just promote yourself, man, and um, yeah, get yourself out there because uh, these are doing it. So fight and just keep putting yourself out there. That's what that's what I've taken from this event. I want to obviously speak about the news of Jake Paul recently as well, which is someone who obviously promotes himself, does everything to promote himself. What did you make of that news? Oh no, that was that was that was crazy because um, like I, no one told me anything about it, and literally like my phone was blowing off, like saying. Everyone was like, are you going to fight Jake Paul? Yeah, everyone, you know what I mean? I'm like, chill out. But yeah, that was, it's, it's a good sign and it's good for business. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, let's just finish off by talking of 2023. How you expect it to go? Um, July, when are the dates you, you expect and, and you know of? So I'm out in March, um, March 25th in Newcastle. I predict this year to be fucking amazing. Um, it's going to be a clean run. I finished the year ten and zero, and six figures richer. Yeah, so in March, then you expect in July as well. Uh, no, so I think it's March, and then I think September's the next one, the next um, one for me, and then yeah, and then I think it'll be Dublin in this de uh, December, the final. So how do you prepare for Newcastle? Ah, uh, just same, same as what I've always done. Just being disciplined and um, same focus in camp. Because, um, yeah, it's a big year for me, so I can't let this one slip.